See this? This is a, um, well, it's, it's, a, it's a warranty issue. So my touch bar on the Mac, you can see it goes away when I click this, uh, has this thing for the past three months. As you can see, I have the default Mac OS running. So um, I guess quick like intro is that I'm not obviously complaining. Uh, I do a lot of like, I have a lot of Apple hardware over the last 20 years and that means I have a lot of Apple hardware failures. Um, whenever you have an issue with your Mac, before you call Apple Care, which is 1-800-275-2273 is their phone number, um, you reset the NVRAM or PRAM, you, uh, which is command option PR at boot, and then you also uh, hold down the D button at boot and run Apple Hardware Diagnostics, and then finally hold command R at boot and do the, um, the uh, hard drive, hard disk repair, first aid. Uh, after you've done that, if the issue persists with the hardware issue and there's no signs of any uh, damage to the case from drops, uh, then you're probably recommended to go ahead and do a time machine backup and then do a full restore to a stock um, OS to the stock um, operating system. Create a new user account, start completely fresh, don't restore any of your items, don't log in with iCloud. And then if the issue continues, then you are free to call Apple. This is the best way to get your problem solved. I know it's a pain in the ass for a lot of non-techies, but it, Apple doesn't offer uh, recovery services of your data. And the, uh, Porter has a toy, so he might start squeaking here. And then, uh, you know, with the new Apple Pros and iMac Pros is the T2 security chip, which is, uh, you know, really locks everything together, including Touch ID, which is right here. So what ends up happening is when they, they replace Touch ID, oh, there it goes, see it started. Uh, when they replace the, the touch bar uh, or any sort of logic board, um, you're going to be able have not be able to recover your data. It's it's attached, it's serialized to all this together. So, um, yeah, there it goes. So uh, the reason I do this video though is I don't have an Apple store near me. Um, so I've been doing this for years, and I think not people don't really know about this. But when you call Apple again, eight hundred two seven five two two seven three, um, they're going to try to get you to go into an Apple store. That's going to require creating a reservation, getting there on time, possibly waiting because they're usually delayed. And then finally, um, they don't repair this kind of stuff in store. They don't do a lot in store. They're really the iPhone store, the iPod store. They're not the Mac store. So uh, what they're gonna do is they're gonna send this to Depot. And sending it to Depot means that they put it into a box, they overnight ship it to probably Tennessee or Texas, depending on where you are in the world. And then it's usually fixed within two business days and then overnight it back to the store in which case you got to drive back to the store and uh, get it fixed. Don't do that. Don't waste your time. Um, I know it's tempting to go to an Apple store, but don't worry. You don't want to do that. What you're going to want to do is get one of these. So if you ask, what they'll do is uh, priority overnight a box to you, an empty box. And this is what the Apple store keeps on hand. So you've got this here. They have you put it into a magnetic um, shield. It used... Hmm. It used to be that they really had a lot more padding in here. This is kind of, they've kind of cheapened out on the padding actually. But you've got, you know, they give you tape in order to uh, tape it up, how to uh, pack it up. And you put it in here, you drop it off at FedEx. Um, any FedEx place will take it. It's pre prepaid for. Um, and then they will get it the next day. It's overnight shipping back to them. So I called them on Monday, Tuesday was Christmas, so I got it Wednesday. But really if you call them on a Monday before noon, You'll get the box Tuesday before noon, then you can ship it out, and then it'll be then by Wednesday by noon. And then usually by the end of the day Thursday, end of the day Friday, they'll ship it back to you overnight and it'll deliver on Saturday, Friday or Saturday. So um, this is a video that's not really for my core audience, but I think a lot of people don't realize that Apple does overnight shipping on all of their hardware, everything. As long as you it's within the first year purchase date or you have Apple Care Protection Plan, they will mail you an overnight box for any Apple product that is broken. Um, and as you can see, that's definitely broken. Uh, and it's not really a big deal. It, it, it's, it's, not, it's not ruining the functionality at all. Um, it's just annoying. So if I ever go to sell this thing, uh, the next owner wouldn't, wouldn't want that to be all glitched out like that. So the reason why I'm doing this now is because uh, I have an iMac. You can see over there. Uh, we have an iMac, so I don't really need to, um, you know, I'm off this week from work, so I'll work on the iMac all week, and then next week I'll have a MacBook Pro back, and it'll be fixed. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I think this is something that, you know, everyone that has an Apple computer should know about.